and with possible winter weather hitting central Virginia this weekend, you might be thinking about getting your home or car ready, but what about your health and your family's well-being? Medical experts say beyond dressing in layers and covering any exposed skin, you should also be thinking of the supplies you have on hand at home. Dr. Joy Dip Roy, the chief medical officer for United Healthcare, told me that hypothermia, frostbite, and carbon monoxide poisoning are the most common conditions that bring people to the ER during winter weather events. He told me, recognize the symptoms and be ready to help. Um, so those with hypothermia, that's a, that's a medical urgency or emergency, depending on the severity. Um, depending on the situation, you might be able to warm people, you know, warm them up by warming their core, their chest, and their abdomen to help them warm up their whole body. Frostbite, you know, as we were talking about, is, you know, ex impacts the extremities uh, or those the areas that are exposed, the nose, the feet, the ears, um, the hands, and the toes. Um, and the signs of possible frostbite, it's like a white and grayish, yellow skin area, uh, skin that feels firm or waxy. And Dr. Roy says only use warm water for people with frostbite because patients cannot feel the hot water to know how hot it might be. And he says before you venture out into severe winter weather, make sure to consider the risk. Emergency responders are likely to be out busy helping people. And so any driver that doesn't have to be on the road should not be. Our team of meteorologists will continue to keep you updated on this weekend's winter weather. You can scan the QR code on your screen right now. That'll take you to a page where you can download the free CBS 6 weather app. And that way you'll have the latest updates right at your fingertips.